Professor Daniel Serwer, a Middle East scholar, watched the final debate from the kitchen of his home. As he watched, he sent out numerous tweets commenting on the candidates' positions. Well, my first job as Commander-in-Chief, Bob, is to keep the American people safe. And that's what we've done over the last four years. We ended the war in Iraq, refocused our attention on those who actually killed us on 9-11. I congratulate him on, on taking out Osama bin Laden and going after the leadership in al-Qaeda. But we can't kill our way out of this mess. We're going to have to put in place a very comprehensive and robust strategy to help the, the, the world of Islam and, and other parts of the world reject this radical, violent extremism. Serber says that despite all the sparring in which Mr. Romney accused the president of weakness and the president defended his record of the last four years, challenger Romney gave few concrete ways his policy would be very different. There's a lot of agreement on the foreign policy front. Uh, I heard very few really sharp differences on what to do now. There are disagreements about who's shown leadership, who hasn't in the past. But uh, the, the, the question of what to do now on Iran, on Israel-Palestine, on a lot of other issues, um, there's not a lot of disagreement. Mr. Romney said he would counter Islamic extremism with more American economic aid to help Middle East countries improve the lives of their people. But Middle East scholar Serwer says more aid is unlikely since Mr. Romney also wants to reduce U.S. government spending. He talked quite a bit tonight about uh, foreign assistance and where it should be directed. Well, there won't be much foreign assistance if he's elected because the uh, budget proposal has very large cuts in the existing foreign assistance. So uh, I, I don't think we have a, a fully developed picture of Romney even yet. Mr. Romney said the president had not done enough to help defeat the Assad regime in Syria. But even there, he agreed with President Obama that imposing a no-fly zone over the country was unwise, as it could draw the United States into another unwanted military conflict. I think the real difference, the real chance that Romney had to make a difference was on the Syria issue, because that's where, in my opinion, President Obama has really fallen down, and, and there's a ton of hypocrisy and failure on Syria and Mitt Romney failed. So basically, Mitt Romney just kept saying, well, I agree with the president, I agree with the president, I agree with the president, and you didn't see any distinction, which is a real shame because he had the chance to distinguish himself, and, and I think he didn't do it. The two candidates appear to have a subtle difference of positions on Iran. Mr. Obama said he will not allow that country to acquire a nuclear bomb, while Mr. Romney says he would not even allow Tehran to acquire the capacity to make a bomb. In this last of three presidential debates, this one focused on foreign policy, both men aggressively defended their positions. Mitt Romney, the Republican challenger, accused President Obama of weakness, especially in the face of dramatic challenges in the Middle East. President Obama accused Governor Romney of sometimes reckless and often changing positions. In just two weeks, the American people will decide in what is shaping up to be an extremely close race, who will be the next U.S. president. Burton Bolag, KSA 2, Washington.